hello uh, welcome to today's class in today's class we will look at the implementation of basic SRLH both using NAND gates and NOR gates and then we will look at the gated SRLH again both using NOR gates and NAND gates and then finally we will look at the DLATCH so first we will look at the basic SRLH using NOR gates and uh, here you will need two NOR gates to build and uh, this logic circuit and each of the NOR gates should be of two inputs so that's the first NOR gate that we have and then we have another NOR gate which is also of two inputs uh, then I have the two inputs R and S and uh, we have two outputs uh, so this is my output Q and the other output is my output Q prime and we need the feedback connection so I take this output from this output I connect it to the second input of the first NOR gate and from this output we connect it to the second NOR gate so that's complete the logic circuit for basic SRLs using NOR gate let me label the inputs and outputs so this is my R input and this is my S input then this is my Q output and uh, this is my Q prime output now if you like to test this logic circuit we know if we make R equal to 1 we go to reset state it's already in the reset state so let me make S equal to 1 so that we go to the set state so if I make S equal to 1 and R equal to 0 Q should become equal to 1 and that's what we see happening and now if I change it back to 0 no changes will happen because S equal to 0 R equal to 0 means no change and if I make R input 1 and S input 0 our lats will go to the reset state so the Q output should become equal to 0 yes that's what we see happening again if we make both the inputs 0 0 nothing will change no change will happen to the state it will remain at the 0 only yes that's what we see happening if we make both the inputs 1 1 uh, both the outputs would become 0 and that's what we see happening but this particular input combination r equal to 1 and s equal to 1 we should avoid as it may make the circuit go into oscillation and that would happen when we change from both inputs 1 to both input 0 at the same time at the same instant if both these two input changes from 1 1 to 0 0 this latch would go into oscillation and that's why we should avoid this input r equal to 1 s equal to 1 other than that we have seen all the other possible input combinations r equal to 0 s equal to 0 s equal to 0 r equal to 1 and s equal to 1 r equal to 0 and we saw that this circuit behaved as per the characteristic table of a basic SRLH. Next let us try to implement using NOR gates. So for that sorry NAND gate for that I will need two NAND gates. So here is my first NAND gate and here is my second NAND gate and both the NAND gates should be of two inputs. 
this NAND gate also should be of two inputs. Uh, I next take the inputs. So this is my first input. And here is my second input that I have connected. And I take the two outputs Q and Q prime. And I make the connections. So output of the NAND gate is connected to Q. Output of the second NAND gate is connected to Q prime. And for the feedback connections, I take this output. I take this output and I connect it to the first NAND gate. I take the sec output, uh, I take the Q output and I connect it to the second NAND gate and that actually completes the logic circuit. Let me label the inputs and outputs. So this is the S input in case of basic SR let's using NAND gate. This would be our S input. This would be our R input. This would be our Q output. And this would be our Q prime output. And now let's look at the behavior of this logic circuit. It will behave just the opposite of the basic SR let's using NOR gate. Also note that we have interchanged the position of the two inputs. In case of um, basic SR let's using NOR gate, the two inputs are, and this is your R input, and in case of the basic SR let's using NAND, NAND gate, this is your S input. And now uh, we know <clears throat> that if we make uh, R equal to 0 and S equal to 1, the let's will go to reset state, which means Q e will become equal to 0. So let's make S equal to 1. So Q goes to reset state if we make r equal to now if we make both the inputs one one no changes will happen nothing changes and now if i make s equal to zero r equal to one and the lads will go to the set state and as you can see that's what is happening and again i make both the inputs one one nothing will change if I make both the inputs 0, 0, both the outputs will become 1, 1. And this is actually an invalid input combination because using S equal to 0, R equal to 0 has the potential of changing your LATS into an oscillation state. That would happen when you change from both inputs 0, 0 to both inputs 1, 1 at the same instant. Now let us look at the gated SR latch. First, let us look at the gated SR latch using NOR gate. Uh, for that, you have to uh, add, let's add two more AND gate. So here goes my first AND gate and here goes my second AND gate. And both the AND gates should be of input 2. And we will need one more clock input let me level it clk or enable whichever name you want to give so i'm giving the name clk clock and then i connect the clock input 
to both the inputs to both the end gates I'll connect the output of the first end gate as input to the first NOR gate and I'll connect the output of the second end gate as input to the second NOR gate and I connect the R input as input for the first end gate and I'll connect the S input to the second end gate and that actually completes the gated SR latch let's look at its behavior first let us make clock equal to 1 so that I will be able to change the state of the latch currently the Q output is 1 which means it is in the set state let us make it go to the reset state and that we can do by making r equal to 1 and s equal to 0 and as you can see the latch goes to reset state q becomes equal to 0 then if I make both the inputs equal to 0 0 nothing changes if I make the s input equal to 1 the latch will go to the set state so q will become equal to 1 and that's what we see is happening and then if I make the S input to 0, 0, no changes will happen. <clears throat> now if I make the clock input equal to 0, then it doesn't matter what are the value of R and S. Nothing will happen to the Q output. So no changes take place. That's when the clock input is equal to zero. So this is the gated SR lets using NOR gates. And now <coughs> let us look at the gated SR lets using NAND gates. Uh, for that, I have to add two more NAND gates. So here goes my first NAND gate. And here goes my second NAND gate. Both the NAND gates should be uh, two input NAND gates. And uh, now I connect the first input. connect the first input uh, to the we connect the first S input as one of the input to the NAND gate and we connect the second input to the second NAND gate we need one clock input so I'll add one more input that's our clock input and I'll connect this clock input to port the NAND gates and that actually completes the connections and as you'll see to make changes happen in the latch state the clock input should be equal to 1 and if I make s equal to 1 the latch will go to the set state if I make r equal to 1 the latch will go to the reset state if I make both the inputs equal to 0 0 no changes will take place and if I make the clock input 0, it doesn't matter what the value of S and R is, 
the states of the lats will not change. Now finally let us look at negated D latch. So negated D latch we will use the NAND gate let's say. So we have NAND gate which is a two input NAND gate. I have one more NAND gate which is another two input NAND gate. Um, then we have the output. We connect these outputs. We create the feedback path. So that's the connection for the basic SR lets. Then we connect. Then we use two more NAND gates. Just like we built the gated SR lets, I'm making the same connections. These two should be two input NAND gate. And then we have a clock input which we connect to both the NAND gates. So that's my clock input. And then we need one more input which is the D input. And let me level it as D. And then we need a NOT get. So I'll make the NOT get here and I'll face it south. And I'll connect this D input to this NAND gate. So as you can see, I have a clock input and then I have, we have a D input. The D input is connected directly to the first NAND gate and it's connected to second NAND gate through a NOT gate. And then we have the outputs Q and uh, Q prime. So let's look at the behavior of this logic circuit. First, let us make clock input equal to one. And let's change the value of D. So if the D is equal to zero, Q is equal to zero. If D is equal to one, Q is one. So the Q output is same as that of D. Whatever is the value of D, and that is the value of the Q output. So when the clock input is 1, the latch becomes transparent and whatever is there in the D input that appears in the Q output. However, when I make clock equal to 0, it doesn't matter what the value of D is. Our Q output will not, cha not change. So we are in a no change state. So clock input equal to 0, we change the input, nothing happens. Clock input to 1. Uh, as per the D input, Q will change. So that's it for today's class. We looked at the basic SR lets using NOR gate, the basic SR lets using NAND gate, and then gated SR lets using NOR gate, gated SR lets using NAND gate, and then finally uh, the D latch. So with that, I would like to end today's class. Thank you. Bye.